。My EG 解锁区块链科技，虚拟经济在全球刮起旋风，本土网络科技 My EG 公司也顺势引进了虚拟经济体系中区块链这一块。这家公司在去年与中国信息通信研究院签订合约，共同推出 z t r i x 平台，使用的是中国区块链技术——星火链网。Why do you think now is the right time to launch a blockchain platform for Malaysia? Blockchain technology is developing very rapidly, and、uh, I think what a lot of us do not know is the fact that the Singhua、uh, blockchain platform actually processes more transactions than all the other. Blockchain platforms in the world combined together, so it is very widely used in China already. Although it's less than a year old,、um, they process almost 100 million transactions a day. My EG 已经完成 Zetrix 区块链的第一层区块链功能的基础开发，主网也正式上线。目前，该公司已向市场推介区块链识别码、可验证凭证 （Verifiable Credential） 或简称 VC， 以及电子签约服务。而这些去中心化的技术，都体现了区块链保护资产免被入侵的特点。Today we all hear about our personal data being stored by centralized organizations like maybe Facebook or Malaysian government agencies like you know JPJ.、Um, this data is stored on a centralized database, and when there is a hacking attempt, all this data will be lost.、Uh, it's a concern because that data can be used for other transactions which might cause financial loss to us. So with the blockchain identity, instead of storing this data with these different agencies, it's actually stored on your wallet. So your wallet could be, of course, on your PC or on, on a mobile phone. But the data is not is not stored in a centralized location. Hence, there is no way to actually hack to lose、uh, large, large blocks of data. This sounds very complicated technology, but in practical use, it can be very practical. 例如驾驶执照、名牌手表的认证，甚至是任何形式的合约，都可以透过可验证凭证 V C 来回答“我是谁，这是什么信息”的问题，达到数位化的目的，并通过私人钥匙以防伪造。Uh, a verifiable credential is something like maybe your driving license. It could be your Rolex watch. You no, know, it comes with a certificate of authenticity to prove that it is a, a real Rolex watch. Today, all these documents are all paper. So it can still be easily forged by using the blockchain identity to issue verifiable credentials. All this will be digitized. So basically, if you have a product that you want to export to China, you can actually search for the product. The second service that we are launching is、uh, agreement signing on the blockchain. If you are buying from a manufacturer in China, you can upload your agreement and sign it. 利用区块链保证数据的公开和安全性的特质，在中国的发展目前正方兴未艾，每日达成的交易数额已达到了一亿人民币。对本地商家来说，这会不会是未来的大势所趋呢 ？One of the biggest use case for blockchain within China is actually supply chain traceability and financing. When you buy and sell across the supply chain, right, you can actually trace the origin and status of every product. With that, it allows banks to finance at a lower cost because the banks also is able to trace and、uh, track the status of every product, and hence lowers their risk. That is the wave moving forward. So it is already widely adopted within China. So the idea now is to extend it to include countries outside China.